Hey everybody, I am David and today I want to talk about some news about the Shazam film uh, that is going to be coming out from DC and Warner Brothers. Uh, there has been a little bit of news that just dropped today uh, that THR, the Hollywood Reporter, is uh, saying that some of their sources are saying that it looks like uh, WB is planning on shooting the Shazam movie as their next DC project right after Aquaman uh, early February uh, 2018 and getting it released by 2019 which would be right after Aquaman's December uh, 2018 uh, debut. Aquaman would probably come out sometime in March or April or May or sometime uh, in 2019. Um, which is really cool. You know, I wanted to put my thoughts on that, that I think uh, Shazam is a great character to put next. He wasn't the one that I was expecting, but I guess it makes sense since they had The Rock announce this project for like years ago, uh, like maybe 2015 or 2016. Uh, I know it was before Batman v Superman even came out. Uh, that they announced The Rock was attached to this project. And then there were, like, rumors that uh, there were there's going to be two movies now, Shazam and then Black Adam, or Black Adam and then Shazam. I don't know what they were thinking, what they were thinking of doing. Uh, but, yes, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is playing Black Adam, who in I, I thought was a villain of Shazam in the comics. Uh, but... Okay, <laughs> if he's going to be an anti-hero, then let him be an anti-hero, I guess. Whatever makes Dwayne The Rock Johnson happy. As long as the movie is good, give me what you what you can. Just give me a good movie. Um, what also makes this interesting is there have been rumors that maybe Superman would team up with Shazam. So maybe Superman would appear in the Shazam movie to help give Shazam that little lift that he might need. Um... I think it's cool, you know. I, you know, Shazam is a little boy who named Billy Bastion. Who, as soon as he says Shazam, he transforms into this Superman type character. He literally is a, a very strong, powerful character. Uh, the difference is he's still the mind of an eight-year-old boy or something like that, or a ten-year-old kid, um, just with a superhero body. Uh, which is every kid's fantasy to be, right? <laughs> they want to grow up and be a superhero one day, and this kid gets to be one. Um, there's a really good short, with uh, animated short with Superman. Uh, I think it's called Superman Shazam, uh, The Attack of Black Adam or something like that. I forgot what it's called right now. Uh, my first exposure to the character was in Justice League Unlimited, where he appeared in one episode. He was still being called Captain Marvel at the time, which I guess DC realized, you know what, maybe we should change the name of this character that has the name of our competitor <laughs> as his superhero name. So I think they dropped the name Captain Marvel because there was already another Captain Marvel out there, So, and it just made more sense for that name to be, I guess, associated with Marvel comics instead of DC. Um, so that's why they dropped that, and now he's just called Shazam. And uh, you know what? I like it. And I'm looking forward to this movie. Apparently the director uh, has a background in horror films, uh, which is interesting that they're getting him to direct this film. Um, including the upcoming Annabelle film, which is escaping my name, the full title. But I know he, he has the Annabelle film from this year coming out in August uh, that he's going to be directing. Um, horror is not in my, uh, is not one of my strong suits, so I can't really comment on what he's done. Um, but yeah, just as the character as a whole, I think it's an interesting choice specifically when you have the flash still on hold i i really want to see the flash movie man that's the one that i am waiting for to see how they differ from the tv series because i love the show and i want to love the movie version too i can love both versions i loved smallville and superman returns when they were both around so i i can love ezra miller's flash and i can love grant gustin's flash both equally or on different levels, who knows. Um, 
I guess with that being said, guys, you know, Comic-Con is this week. I'm not down there, unfortunately. Money, you can't always... Money doesn't always allow you to go when you're not in that state. Um, but you know what? Who knows? Maybe one day I'll get to go. Uh, but I will be covering any news, uh, big news uh, items that might drop, specifically about Marvel or DC, because I love the superhero genre, and I can't wait what we learn down there. I hope they drop some form of a trailer. You know, that Avengers trailer at D23, I read about it. I want to see it. I don't know what Marvel's doing. Come on, Marvel. Give me that shot of Thanos throwing a moon. I don't know what that's about, but I want to see it. And I want to see whatever DC throws at us. I think it's time for a new trailer for Justice League. You know, it's been a while since we got the last Justice League trailer. And November is just around the corner. Same thing with Thor Ragnarok. Give me something on that, Marvel. And maybe another Black Panther trailer would be pretty sweet. Uh, so I'm wrapping this up. Like this video, guys. Are you excited about this Shazam movie? Or would you have DC and Warner Brothers do something else instead? Comment below and tell me your thoughts on that. And uh, subscribe to my channel, especially if you are a huge fan of Marvel or DC properties. And until next time, take care.